Uh, there's debris. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's ripping apart the city right now. Okay, 1.30 in, uh, Briar Lake right now. Okay, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. I'm like, allowed. Oh, subvort right next to me. Oh, wait, oh, drop, drop it down, drop it down. Drop it down. I'm in the wrong seat. I'm in the wrong seat. We got two wedges there's on the ground. There's a huge debris ball. Really? Huge debris ball on the south, uh, the southeast corner of Hazleton. Oh, so there's debris raining from the sky. I got hit by debris. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Twisted, continuing the Storm Chasing series. I'm joined by Jay Killen, Ben, Evan, and AJ. Now we've actually got a bit of a challenge today. We're going to be driving vehicles we wouldn't usually drive. For example, I'm driving the Discovery Support Vehicle. Usually I drive the Twister Ram. And Evan, who usually drives the TIFF 2, is driving Dom 3 and uh, so on and so forth with all of us here. So yeah, this should be pretty fun. All right, so Jay Killen, as usual, you wanna give us a weather report? Yeah, so for today, we have a high risk temperature at 81 degrees Fahrenheit, dew point at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty warm in that area. Cape is at 3,900 joules per kilogram and we got 132 three Cape, which is the Cape within the first three kilometers of the atmosphere. For the zero to three kilometer lapse rates, we got 8.3 Celsius per kilometer. And for the three to six kilometer lapse rates, we're at 7.2 Celsius per kilometer. Precipitable water is at about an inch and the 700 to 500 millibar relative humidity is at 45%. Uh, so for the surface relative humidity, it's at 65%. So some relatively low humidity percentages. And like I said, the precipitable water is at about an inch. So for the SRH, we're at around 500 which is quite a lot and storm motion is at northeast at 70 miles per hour. So it's gonna be some fast moving storms. And like I pointed out, some high SRH, STP value of nine, VTP value of two. And looking at the hodograph, it's kind of got like a nice sort of arch sickle shape to it. And at least like if we were to incorporate like a hodograph like this in real life, I'd say it would be mainly like a hail risk because you kind of have like this stretch sort of it's not like as robust of a sickle like in a real life application this would probably produce some ridiculous hail all right so we're gonna keep an eye out for hail and well of course tornadoes so uh let's get chasing so evan how does it feel to be driving dom 3 when ben over here is driving tiv 2 the vehicle you usually drive in real life i'm not gonna lie i feel a little stabbed in the back but uh you know it is what it is so, Jay Killen, how are you uh, doing back there in Tiv 1? Uh, pretty all right. I mean, I actually do like the uh, the remodel of it because, I mean, obviously the older model, it wasn't as detailed, but, like, considering the newer model that was at least released for uh, 1.20, it was, uh, it's actually, like, a lot better to use, I'd say, like, because obviously the detail. You've also got somebody uh, quickly approaching behind you. I'll fix that. Real champion of the road right there. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, two of them, apparently. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. All right, guys, it looks like we've got a storm building just off to the west, maybe around the Hibbing area. Oh, yeah, that's, like, far to the southwest, so there could be a good chance for this to be long track, especially considering the fast 70-mile-per-hour northeast motion. Yeah, this actually looks pretty good. We should get moving. All right, we got some rotation building just to the south of Hibbing. Uh, looks like it's just going to move northeast. I'm about to get a visual on it. Oh, actually, yeah, that is it. That is a big walk loud. Holy. Yeah, that is massive. Let's take a look at the velocity here. We've got a yeah, warning. We got a couple of, yep, tornado warning. Oh, my warning God. Out. We have a massive rotation right above us. Yeah, this thing might drop it looks, Yeah, it looks like it's about to drop. Funnel. Yeah. Oh, where? Oh, yep, yep, I see it. There we go. Oh, it's going to be a beast. Storm motions. Ooh. 70 miles per hour. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be oh. fast. I'm repositioning just so I can 
Get ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go back up north a little bit. Oh, it, here it comes. I think it's. Oh, power, power flash. flash is, is, yep, it's on the ground. It's on the ground. That is a monster now tornado. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm moving. Power flash is really far away from the main condensation funnel. Yeah, I might try and get a deployment at this intersection. Yeah, I would. I'm getting 80, 90 uh, winds right now. Massive power flash. Oh, one right here. Actually, I'm debating. Should I intercept this? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, this is actually okay. um, looking really violent at this point. The tornado shape is indicative of a violent tornado. Uh, yeah, best thing to do, I'm just going to go east. If I was in TIV 2, I'd feel more confident, but uh, not with this thing. I can view the probe camera. It's actually Hope about it's to on like me. intercept. Yep, but probes are not okay. entering the, the funnel. TIV 2 just got a direct. Oh, wow. 170. The, just, All right, I'm in it. It just jumped. 132 miles per hour. 156. 100, oh, it's 177. 179. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't intercept this. Oh, my gosh. All right, we got to turn around. I got some probe deployments on it, though. 183. Watch out. This RFD is going to come around, Jay Killen. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's just going to slam the backside of it. We have damage. Here. We have damage. RFD is causing damage to the houses up here. It's going into Trent right now. Most of those homes are lower bound. It's actually a tornado emergency now. I guess that's because it's um, flipping Prior Lake. But at the same time, it's heading right for Hazleton, I think. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a drone shot of this up ahead. All right, sounds good. Trying to get back in front of it in Dom 3 right now, but I don't know if I'm going to have much of a chance. Oh, my God. Debris oh, there's actual the sky behind yeah, me. There's debris laying in the road over here where I'm driving up north. Like, it's just, it's it's legitimately raining from the sky behind me yeah like, there's also debris stopping. getting shot out in front of the tornado so it is it's ripping stuff up yeah there's just pieces of like window frames and stuff like that like just pieces of walls laying out on the sides of the road yeah i'm pulling over at multi this vortex multi vortex really oh that is not yes. good i cannot see that that is you really can't scary see anything oh my gosh evan i think you're gonna intercept like Oh, yeah, I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't see you're, the You're thing. almost like in the path. If you go forward a little bit more, you'll probably get a direct hit. I'm going to try Hello to find there. another road to the left, and I think I got one here. I'm going to try to deploy. Uh, I think it just went into my east, maybe. Well, no. No, it's I, still I was about to say, I think you're about to like get hit directly if you're... um. Oh, yeah, you're about to get hit directly. There's, there's circulation is. on the back side. Oh, yeah, there, there's... Yeah, another... Uh, I can't see this one, so... Oh, Tiv 2's going in. Anything. I just saw Tiv 2 make a turn onto the uh, road for an intercept. 194 on these probes oh, wow. right now. Yeah, it's it's strong. And I'm on the backside of it now. Man, it is scary being in this uh, rain and not being able to see the tornado. Yeah, I'm just trying to like get a good trajectory so I can drop a probe down. Because I'm going to drop one down on this road, head up into Hazleton, and place another one down on the next road. This other one has a massive wall of that. I just, All right. I got a glimpse. Uh, power flashes and fire. All right, yeah, I'm going to be out of here. I don't want to take the chance. Massive wedge and prior. Are we going really? to prior now, yes. or are we going to Hazel? I'm in the direct path. It's huge. Yeah, I'm going to go the one in Hazel, honestly. Hazel's still got pink TVS. Yeah. Trying to see this thing. Velocity. Let's see how my probe's doing. 85 miles per hour on my probe so far. Oh, I got to move. I got to move. I'm going I south. See, I see the tip two on oh my, my probe gosh. camera. Uh, the one up by Hazel's dying. Unless no, it's, it's multi-vortex. It. Oh my gosh, no, it's not. Yeah, it's multi-vortex. Yeah, you might want to be careful. The one in uh, prior is still growing. Yeah, it looks like it's still strengthening. Okay, 130 in uh, prior lake right now. In Prior Lake, like downtown? Yeah, downtown Prior oh Lake. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. 137. Oh my god, it's massive. Multi vortex in uh, Prior Lake. I'm gonna try Multiple. to get down to Prior Lake right now. Multiple. There's a tornado. I got visual on the it Prior is, Lake it one. It's running TBS now, so it, it does seem like it could be weakening some. Let's see if I get. Oh, yeah, my probe's getting hit. 143 miles per hour on my probe in Hazleton. All right, I'm gonna deploy on this tornado that just exited Prior Lake. Yeah, there is like huge, like baseball sized hail coming down. All right, deploying. Both are, both are dying. There is a new storm down by Hibbing. Probe deployed. Oh my gosh, it is here. Gotta move. All right, I think it passed my probe, so it is currently hitting Hazleton. There's also another storm growing down uh, near Hibbing. Yeah, I gotta go down there. I'm gonna go through Prior Lake as well and check out what the damage is. Yeah, I'll probably go check up in Hazleton some. All right. I don't think yeah, it's gonna be too bad, but the there was some pretty strong winds, though. This tornado, though, that exited Prior Lake is, like, growing Huge. still. 
It's huge. I'm about to hit yeah, it. Yeah, I can see the edges of it. Yeah, it is a massive wedge. Did you just drive? Uh, oh, I see you. Just barely, Evan. Hi, how you doing? All right, so there is a little bit of damage in Hazleton. Uh, it's not like absolutely terrible. Uh, let me see if I could drive up further. Yeah, it looks like mainly the roofs are missing. Oh, some power flashes of uh, from the tornado. All right, I am in Prior Lake right now. Yeah, so a lot of the houses are missing roofs, but... If you go down more, you'll see oh, more okay. structural damage. Yep, we've got uh, a building missing part of its wall. I'm also going to help out this person here. Um, there's another wedge on the ground. Where is it headed? Hipping. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to core like downtown Hibbing. Uh, I can see the edge of it. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see it. It is a huge wedge. All right, time to deploy. I've got one probe, so i got to make it count. Look at it from the airport radar. It is very violent. AJ, where are you at? Oh, there you are. To your right. Yeah, let's just go this way. Go east. Actually, I think this might end up hitting the residential area of uh, Hibbing. I'm trying to see All if right. I can make it over there and maybe I'm deploy right some probes. There's oh, some damage no. to this barn. Evan, are you okay? Right. Um, no, no, no. Uh, there's debris. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's ripping apart the city right now. I'm going to use cinematic mode and zoom in. Oh my uh, gosh. I'm going to get on drone. Oh, it's, it's going to go Full multi. Time. Look at the debris in the air. Uh, can I put probes down? There we go. AJ, we down. might need to go I'm soon. Here. I'm going to continue west. Okay, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. I'm like, oh, wow. oh subvort right next to me, to my backside. Uh, AJ, where are you going? Uh, my car's malfunctions. Oh, I think I, I saw just something. Saw... The people I see me. My... I can see him on my probe camera. I He's just done. Saw him pass on my probe camera. He is I'm done. I'm still on the ground. I'm still on the ground. I'm still moving. Honestly, the probe's only reading at about 100 miles per hour, 118. I mean, I it's yet to hit it, but... Oh, uh, my God. Going. There he goes. There he goes. He's gone. He's gone. We've lost AJ. I'm, I'm deploying. Uh, it's averaging at about a little over... Oh, I saw it go up to like 120 to 130-ish. But, uh, yeah, we're in like the middle of it right now. Because the winds are starting to slowly go down. We're at about 80 miles per hour. Yep, I can see the edge of it now. All right, I'm coming around here. I think I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right. Look at that. Dominator 3 survives another tornado to live another day. Uh, yep. Some pretty bad roof damage here in the northern part of Hibbing. Just kind of driving through and looking at everything. All right. So this new storm's popped up. We're going to go after it and uh, we're going to see how this goes. All right. We got a decent tornado now on the ground. It is moving northeast and moving fast. It's about to cross the highway. Yeah, I can see it from here. It is booking it. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to make this. I'm going to try. All right. I'm deploying. Oh my gosh. This is too close. Oh, I jumped into the passenger seat. Really bad time to do it. It's not starting. Oh, Jesse. It was nice knowing you. I can't. I can't I'll do anything. I'll All right. You. All right. Here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, drop, it down, drop it down. Drop oh, no, no, it down. Drop it down. I'm in the wrong seat. I'm in the wrong seat. Oh my gosh. We are in the tornado. We are in the I tornado. Say, it's, uh, it's yellow TBS. I think y'all should be good. My vehicle was shaking for a minute. All right, we're good. Yeah, it's actually pretty dang photogenic, too. Uh, I'm about to get another intercept. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got to slow down. Right in it. It's cranked up a bit. One, 140 there for a second. 148 on the backside. Yep, my vehicle's shaking. Oh, Looks there's like debris raining from the sky. I got hit by debris. New storm popping up over Funkley. It's also pink TVS, so I'd be careful. I'm pretty sure Plus, every single ball. building in that town is gone. Oh, hey, I drove straight into a tree that was down. Well, I mean, that was actually interesting. While I was uh, rating damage, so my probes I placed down, they both got 146 miles per hour. Right next to it, there's one of those, like, uh, double pole, like, power lines. And I can rate that at 142, which actually lines up with what I recorded on the probes. And then same with this house down here, uh, somewhat. This house I rated exterior walls uh, collapse, which is 132. So it's actually interesting seeing like the winds kind of match up with the damage I'm seeing. We got two wedges There's on the ground. There's a huge debris ball. Really? Huge debris ball on the south, uh, the southeast corner of Hazleton. I'm checking it out right now. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I'm trying to drive north. I mean, there's probably not going to be any way I can intercept this, but it's it's not going to be good. It's I'd still say getting larger. Let's take a look at the uh, radar here. It looks like it's red TV. No, it's back to purple or pink. Yeah, it is massive. We're inside. And we're inside. We're just going to drop it down right away. Yep. Lexan is up. All right. We have survived that monster tornado. I am a bit scared to see what the damage is. Oh, wow. And there is debris in the road. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think if we just... Yeah, there you go. It's going to squeeze on by. There we go. The Tiv just doesn't care. Oh, my oh. gosh. Oh, yep. Yeah. You know? Well, the gas station was damaged, but not badly. What oh. was that? All right, so, Jake Killen, you've spent some time doing damage analysis. So what can you tell us? Yeah, so at least for half of the tornadoes I've done, uh, looking at the first tornado, the one that went into Hazleton, from what I remember, there was a house that had basically only, like, interior walls remaining, if I can actually get the drone out and go over to it real quick. If I zoom in, it was this house right over here, reduced down just to the interior walls left, uh, which ended up being at around, if I go back to check the path, at around... 127 miles per hour, which is in the EF2 range. It's a pretty long track, too, at about 8 miles. Looking at tornado number 2, I, I didn't rate it personally, but at least from what I think I remember, it would probably be within the same, like, kind of range. Can I maybe pause like you, EF2. Jake Hillen, real quick? What? Wait, what? Land the drone and, uh, just come back. What? Anyway, so looking at the second path... Uh, I haven't rated it, but at least from what I remember down in Prior Lake, I think it was mainly like roof damage, which would probably be within like the low end EF2 range if I had to place it, maybe even EF3 if there might have been even more damage somewhere. Uh, tornado number three, that was the big one that hit Hibbing. Uh, I was able to rate it at 165 miles per hour because there were some of these houses to the south side that were just basically completely leveled. They were just flattened. Um... Otherwise, uh, like I said, so there was this power pole, like basically where I deployed the probes at that read around 146 miles per hour, I think it was. And I was able to rate the this power pole at 142 and then this house down below it was rated 132. So it's kind of interesting seeing like kind of the wind like on the probe kind of match up with what the damage was kind of displaying. And it was also like multi vortex at that time, which could also explain why this one house ended up getting uh, like a higher end sort of rating within the EF3 range. Uh, moving on to tornado number four, uh, that was a really long tracking one, almost 12 miles long. I haven't rated it. Uh, I haven't seen the damage like from this one, so I'm not 100% sure as to what this one could be. Uh, tornado number five, this is the one that kind of grazed Hazleton. There were some houses that were somewhat damaged by it. It wasn't too bad. Uh, there was one small mistake I did when rating. I accidentally did 135 on the gas station canopy up here when uh, I'd say it should have been, I think it was like 113 or something, or like 119. At least the gas station itself with the roof being removed, I think it was 119. Yeah, so those are the main paths. So it was actually a pretty crazy outbreak. Like a lot of uh, SIG tours, which is basically any tornado that's EF2 or higher. Because we had one EF2, uh, I'd say maybe a second one most likely with the Prior Lake one, the EF3, uh, and then a third EF2, so about three EF2s maybe, and then an EF3, and then maybe uh, an EFU for, I think, this one, because I haven't seen the damage from it. Otherwise, it was pretty hectic. There was also a lot of hail, too, so I guess that sort of prediction with this photograph kind of leading to some pretty destructive hail ended up being accurate so yeah that was a pretty crazy chase and the end of season two for storm chasing with jesse so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and i'll see you all next time guys goodbye <laughs>